Now let's work with our fractions and convert them to decimals. If I have a fraction three fourths, I can show its decimal equivalent by dividing four into three. If I would divide four into three, I would have an answer of 0.75. Now, the place value on decimal numbers is as follows. The first position is tenths, the next one is hundredths. That would mean I would have 75 hundredths for an equivalent decimal value of three-fourths. Now, if I was to take a large number and show you the place value, we would have something as follows. We would have one, seven, six, eight, nine. And let's put a one back there, too. We'll carry it on out to millions. Now, the place value has an assigned value. If I, if I was to refer to, if I was to refer to the one only, I would have 0.1. This is the tenth position, so I would have one tenth. The next position is hundredths, so that here I would have 17 hundredths. The next one is thousandths, I would have 176 thousandths. Now, this is 10 thousandths, so I would have 1,768 ten thousandths. This position is 100 thousandths, I would have 17,689 hundred thousandths. If I had this number, I would have 176,891 millionths. Now, if I want to convert a number back to a fraction, and let's say I have a number of uh, 0 0.87. I know that this is 87 hundredths. I can write 87 hundredths as follows, and if possible, reduce. Say, for example, 1 fourth is equal to divide 4 into that 0.25. If I take 4 into 1, I'll have 0.25. To convert it back to the, the, the fraction, I would put 25 hundredths down. I can reduce that down by dividing 25 into both sides. 25 goes in once and four times. So I'm going right back to the fraction again. Now, the application of that might be in uh, working with percentages, uh, ratios, efficiency, and that sort of thing.